Welcome along to another Think Tank episode. Uh, my name is Reese Nawadich, and I'm going to have a look at a very, very interesting situation, something you may have already come across uh, in reading different articles, but we're just going to have a little bit of a look at a, a massive, massive opportunity uh, when it comes to what's happening in the advertising industry, uh, namely what's actually taking place on platforms, uh, so Facebook uh, and Google uh, as the, I guess, the major two, um, in regards to how much money companies are spending on advertising or not spending on advertising, but then what consumers are actually doing online. Because if you've ever uh, heard of the word divergence, whenever divergence starts to occur, a big move takes place. People make big money, all right? And that type of divergence is what we're seeing happening now and I believe to be for quite some time. A lot of people might think, oh, well, you should have been on that boat three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. Not the case uh, from an advertising point of view and a re return on investment point of view when it comes to your marketing spend. Okay, so if you go out there and you do a bit of a search online, like this is just, uh, you know, news articles on a public you know, influencer marketing hub, and it's talking about statistics of, of what people um, are actually spending their money on. So they do these research reports and, you know, 69% are going to decrease their ad spend. 65%, you know, have decreased their, their ad spend. Um, you know, interesting, you look at these um, differences of, of about fastest growing categories because obviously a lot of things are being bought, but what is being bought compared to what is not, uh, and where are people spending their money on their marketing and not? You know, disposable gloves, you know, medicines, you know, dried foods and things. So this, these are all pretty obvious ones, aren't they? Um, training equipment, because now many people may not be able to do health and, and fitness in the gym, might want to go, you know, to go home, package food, foods and so on. But then fastest declining categories, luggage and suitcase, cameras, bridal clothing, swimwear, all right? So there's some pretty interesting uh, changes, of course, happening in the marketplace when it comes to rapidly growing categories, rapidly declining uh, categories. But now thinking about the ad spend overall online, because when it comes to actually spending money, um, and looking at sort of, you know, basically the vast majority of people saying they're not going to spend as much, and then you've only got, you know, maybe a quarter of the companies that are actually not declining saying, hey, we're going to increase our spend. What we need to keep clearly in mind is that marketing comes back down to the, the amount of eyeballs, the amount of people that are actually available to market to. All right, the amount of people that are marketing to. And so when it comes to uh, people using you know, the internet, there is, I don't even have to pull up a chart, but there is no doubt. Um, well, actually, you know what, let's pull up, let's, let's type it in. Let's go internet usage. Now uh, that's internet speeds, using the internet, pushes up internet 70%. Oh, well, otherwise, I'm going to be sifting through these to try and find a cool chart for you. But nonetheless, um, you know, internet use seventy percent, stream more than twelve percent. All right. So, what well, does it make sense? Up seventy percent. Well, of course, it makes sense um, because everyone's at home, and so obviously that's nearly double the amount of people and the amount of time not necessarily eyeballs as such, but the amount of opportunities to get in front of those people, up 70%. It's massive, all right? It's the streaming side of things, up 12%. It's, it's a huge increase uh, 
in the amount of people available to market to on the internet. Okay? So if you think about it, 75% or let's say two thirds are all cutting back on their ad spend. Even so, you've now got nearly double the amount of people or um, impressions available to market to people. So what actually happens? Well, to put it simply, the cost to advertise drops dramatically because there's less competition and because there's double the amount of people to market to, it drops even again. So it doesn't just drop in half or drop 200%, it drops three to 400% less. So what was costing you $4 is now costing you $1 per click. What was costing you $10 is now costing you $2.50 per click. Okay. Now if we head along over to um, Google Trends and we look at even just simple terms like the word like buy, you know, and this is a broad matched term, which means it's buy in conjunction with whatever else they could be looking to buy. Buying online. Uh, let's say we go worldwide, or we can go to Australia. Um, okay. Now, if you look at the graph, and this is only 12 months. Is it going down or is it going? Well, we can see that, oh, well, that's probably the Christmas period. And then it's going up. It's going up. Now, as restrictions ease, it might slowly pull back a little bit. All right? But it's going up and has been going up. Let's say we go buy online. Now, look at that. Absolutely monstrous surge. And if you think that people are not going, you think people are just going to go back to just shopping as we know it, of course it's not going to happen. This here is a game changer because people are getting accustomed, even more so, to just wanting everything delivered now. All right, let's even do that. Let's even have, let's look at that one and say, uh, maybe even home delivery. Let's see how that one works when people are searching. It's ridiculous. Um, and so, Actually, I might even do well, there's another little one there. Maybe even online shopping. Maybe as a topic. Yeah, here we go. A little bit of a topic. All right. So we can see, and let's even pull it back. Let's pull it back for five years. See what that graph looks like. I mean, obviously, it's unprecedented. Uh, what's actually taken place as far as people buying online. Now, as we saw in the previous uh, example, or the, the website that was showing increasing categories that are growing and categories or industries that are declining, obviously this is going to be in regards to what people can buy online and the categories or industries that are now, of course, growing. All right? But what you need to keep in mind, because people start to, they can't see the forest for the trees and they start just getting a little bit uh, confused. If 75% of industries are bracing for impact and have pulled back and are not going to be spending money, especially this year, on their marketing and then probably not a lot uh, next year, we're talking about it could be 200 to 400% price reductions in advertising. Because remember, it's all about eyeballs. It's not just about, because you remember, someone who you want to sell a, a, a mask to or gloves to, they're the same person who is going to buy a TV and they're going to be buying you know, electronics and they're going to be buying this and they're going to be buying that. So that same person buys many, many different things. So on the ad platform, it's not that, that only that particular people, just because someone else is now selling masks to them, does not mean that you are not able to sell flowers to them. Okay, because you can obviously everyone we all buy many many different things. So you have to look at this as far as what you would normally be paying per click and for your impressions as to what you're now paying um, for them. And of course, you need to have something that can be delivered preferably or at least serviced based you know under the current circumstances with the restrictions or deliverability or whatever it is. Okay, because previously, if you it was costing you hundred dollars to get a customer, and now it's costing you twenty five dollars to get a customer. That completely revolutionises the business. If you if you need a hundred customers, and at twenty five dollars, 
that's now two and a half thousand dollars instead of ten. That's completely, completely life changing when it comes to your advertising. So even here, if we like jump over onto audience insights on Facebook, I want to, here's a little even a little tip for you uh, in creating Facebook campaigns and just appreciating not just the opportunity uh, in regards to lower advertising costs, but even just how simpler it is um, because your ad costs are so much lower. Let me just change this, change this over to Australia, or we'll just add it in there. Do the two of them, why not? Let's say you wanted to market to both countries. Um, actually, I might not, because otherwise it'll, we want to get that just one data for one country. So let's just say uh, we wanted to sell health products. So we were getting into here, let's say health and wellness, is there something? Yep, there we go, health and wellness. Okay, so you've got a health and wellness product. You know that it might have to do with uh, let's just say it's something quite specific about that you know doesn't really relate to younger people and maybe it target it targets people maybe 35 plus right let's just say that 35 plus uh, and it's tailored specifically to female so so not not a huge amount of targeting demographics that we've put in here on the side but then coming over here, if we were to then run a test, okay, people who are interested in health and wellness, we're gonna, we know the product we have maybe, it could be for men and women, so even if it was, that's fine, you could still leave it on both, whatever. Um, how would you set up your campaign? Especially to run a test, checking your advertising costs and the savings. 39%, um, that's for men, 33. So if you wanted to maybe just go after the honey and you were targeting uh, men and women, maybe you just go set up a campaign targeting people from 35 to 44. All right? Relationship status, married. Target people who are married, who are in this age group, who have a college degree. Well, they say college because it's American. Um, so every, higher education, so higher than high school basically, uh, beyond high school, 60%, who are in management positions and administrative services positions, which you've, these are things you can target on Facebook. So get that. You wanna do a test? You can. Australia, you've done, put in your industry, what the their um, t um, interest would be, go after this age group who are married, who have this education level and have these job titles. Your conversions will be sensational. And now at, you know, I mean, this is obviously hypothetically, but it could be a quarter of what your advertising spend may have been previously. So if you were looking at, you needed to double your money. So you spend $100, you need to make 200. So that means, you know, $100 covering your marketing, $100 profit. Okay, so now if you have to turn around and spend $25 to get $200, that's absolutely enormous, absolutely enormous. Okay, so that could change the game for you entirely based on scalability, access, growth, expectations for conversions and so forth. Everything can be tweaked. Even if we head over... Okay, so now inside the Google... Uh, keyword planner inside the ad advertising platform, Google Ads platform. So now if we are looking uh, towards something, it could be, uh, depending on what industry, of course, that we're in, you know, even if we were, uh, uh, let's have a, you know, I'm going to think off the top of my head. Uh, let's say we were selling, um, uh, I don't even know, dog kennels. Um, pet supplies. Just made this one up off the top of my head. Targeting Australia, get results. Let's have a little bit of a look. Refine keywords, organizing concepts. <laughs> 
So they've got quite a bit here. Obviously, it helps you out. You got your brands. Now you can't necessarily target a specific brand unless you're able to resell it and advertise under it, so that you haven't, of course, infringed on anyone's trademark without permission. Uh, dog boarding, pet grooming. I mean, there's obviously quite a range of different things here that helps us to. Um, if we want to segregate things and come up with new ideas, okay? And so, even just looking at, um, you know, targeting the same way we just looked at in, in Facebook, um, but then, you know, moving across if we were targeting, oh, this is now a completely different industry instead of uh, health and wellness. Um, but looking at, you know, what people, look at this sort of top of page, low range bid, 12 cents, 22,000 searches a month. I mean, if someone's searching for dog kennels online, you know, even pet supplies, they, clearly they're ha they're, these people have to make a purchase, right? They have to make a purchase. So, And this is not just the lowest. This is top of the page bid, low range, 50. So that just might mean you're, you're number two or three, but you're still right up there at the top of the page. And chances are, at different times of the day, this cost would be even a lot lower. And if you have a high quality score, lower again. Maybe if you're a totally fresh, terrible quality score, yeah, you might have to pay up to you know, quite a bit more money uh, to be able to do that. But of course, if you've set it up correctly, the sky's the limit. And so huge uh, amount of opportunities digging down into, you know, looking at obviously what is available and especially where actual um, advertise you know testing against current advertisers and, and what they're actually targeting in their ad spend uh, to be able to test out and run marketing or run, get clicks into your sales funnel and onto your website uh, to then obviously do that split testing um, to to take advantage of what we know is happening across the board with the actual advertising industry because people are not spending as much, okay? And, but the impressions, so the monthly searches are, st are still available because there's still a bunch of people out there, if not more, nearly double, spending time online and ordering more online than they used to before. So you got more people to market to, and you got a quarter of the amount of advertisers to compete with. All right, it's it's huge. It's absolutely huge. Okay, and so the thing is, and even when, of course, considering even back here on on Facebook, the 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 point that I'm making and the opportunity that is is in front of you now is is absolutely enormous. The way to take advantage of it is specifically making sure that you can, of course, service customers and service them in a way that they would like. So if that means posting things, social distancing, keeping in, in um, check with local laws and, and whatever the latest updates are. And if you can still work within that framework, understanding who you're marketing to, general demographics, using advertising platforms to tell you who to market to because they will tell you how to make money with it and running your ads and analyzing that data because we know that overall and many different marketers are saying it all of our ad spends have dropped massively massively reduced okay which means higher volume of leads for less cost more opportunity um, and this really is a once in a lifetime situation. It's unlikely this is just, you know, things like the coronavirus are going to keep coming back. So this year and next year, 2020 and 2021, are going to be big years for people to really put a big footprint down if they do it, if they're smart. And it doesn't mean, doesn't mean complicated, it just means sticking to some of these very simple things that I've just showed you here making sure you can service, you have something of value, and then get out there and start putting that offer into the marketplace and 
pause what doesn't work, amplify what does. And I'm sure that you are going to absolutely cream it uh, amongst the current circumstances. So I hope that gives you some really some, some great ideas, a little bit of inspiration to help you think about what you can do right now to make your move in the current uh, business environment that we're all facing. Thanks very much.